Five years ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, a giant cooking arena, a kitchen stadium. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. On a cheesy! To realize his dream, he first secretly started selecting the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Masaharu Morimoto. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. The Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from around the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where you will meet the master chefs from around the world and their artistic creations. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, Morimoto's debut has been a sensation in Japanese cuisine. But not all responses have been positive. This man especially has raised sharp criticism. Recently, I've seen Japanese cuisine starting to fall apart, and we must do something about this. So, I've asked one man to take care of this problem, and I've also handed over my turf to him. You know, I want him to honor Japanese cuisine and protect tradition. So says Chef Kandagawa, who has handed over his territory to a powerhouse of tradition. His name is Tadamichi Ota, the man who defeated Sakai in the kitchen stadium. He is the vice president of the Japan's Chefs Association, which has over 20,000 members, a big name in Japanese cuisine. And this time, Ota has called upon his men to form a faction of his own. This time, I am appointing one of my best men. The hitman Ota has sent comes from Hokkaido. Today's challenger, head chef of Shogetsu Grand Hotel, Shuichi Fuji. He started his career at age 22. Many years of hard training have earned him his position. His works speak of traditional approaches. His depth of knowledge of Japanese cuisine stands out. Japan has its own culture and tradition to uphold, to preserve. When I see a man who tries to destroy that, then I just can't let him go by. Not at all. Like a fierce bear from the north, he is set on taking down Iron Chef Morimoto. So now, Fuji, as the first hitman from the Ota family, show us what you've got. Fuji, just do it. I can't afford to lose. I'll defeat Morimoto.
和食の本堂を守り抜くべく結成された太田あめ土の会その食の武闘派集団が早速一人目の資格を送り込んでまいりました北のヒグマと呼ばれる太田軍団北海道支部長さあ皆さん大きな拍手でお迎えください北海道正月グランドホテル料理長藤井秀一 Entering Kitchen Stadium, look at this! Challenger Shuichi Fuji being led in by boss man Ota with an army of backers. We've never seen anything like this before. Fuji, who's known as the Bear of Hokkaido, coming in with 47 of his comrades in formation. They defend conservative principles in traditional Japanese cuisine. And up in the royal box, Chef Kandagawa from the Kansai area, he too in support of this group. They want to put the squeeze today on the Iron Chef Japanese Masaharu Morimoto. Thank you. Yes. Yes, that's right. It is my desire to preserve traditional cuisine. I win. それでは、太田軍団が一番の標的とするうちの鉄人を取り上げましょう。一人だけ蘇るはアイアンシェフ。Ascending into Kitchen Stadium, Iron Chef Japanese Masaharu Morimoto, who made his debut here this year, spearheading what's become known as Neo Japanese cuisine. He heads the kitchen at Nobu, the famous Japanese restaurant in New York, catering to VIPs from around the world. But today, can Morimoto, who's viewed as a warlord fighting accepted traditions, survive the challenge of the Ota faction? A designated hitman sent into the stadium to take out Iron Chef Morimoto with this very rare salmon. Challenger Fuji will work the traditional, the Iron Chef, his Neo Japanese, and even though Morimoto's on his home turf, there are far more fans for the Challenger. Opening gong battle begins. The entire Ota faction in attendance here, supporting their man from Hokkaido, Fuji. Both men now up at the ingredient stand, loading their trays with today's theme ingredient, unisex salmon. And Hattori, I know this is a tall order, but how do we describe unisex salmon? Well, that's actually, it's quite rare. You come across one in about every 5,000 salmon. It's not male or female. Okay. There's no soft row or any row at all to it, really. All right, and since the reproductive organs are not developed in these fish, all the nutrients they intake go for their meat. Thus, they taste better than regular salmon, and they cost Get ready for this, about 300 bucks a fish. That's right, tad pricey. So the chefs have to be thrilled to get their hands on these. Thrilled about that, but Morimoto can't be too thrilled about working today in an unfriendly environment with the Ota faction looking over his shoulder. And if you're wondering, no relation between Ota and our floor reporter, Shinichiro Ota. Fukui-san. Speaking of whom, go ahead, Ota. I asked the Iron Chef about today's theme, and he said, I've never used it. I've never even seen this kind of salmon. <laughs> what am I going to do with this fish? He sounded excited and nervous at the same time. Okay, well, we'll see what his approach is today. Challenger Fuji, he appears to be calm, very much in control right out of the gate, and the blade work, very smooth, too. He's the head chef of the Shogetsu Grand Hotel at the Jozan K Hot Springs area in Hokkaido, the northern isle of the country. fukui -san? Yes. Yeah, I put the same question to the challenger, Chef Fuji, and he says, hey, this is something common where I come from. I've handled this salmon many times. Just leave it to me. He was full of confidence. All right. He was born and raised in Hokkaido. He's well known for the depth of his knowledge of indigenous cuisine, so tip the scale a bit in favor of the challenger. He's got the advantage having worked with this ingredient before. And now at this time, let's introduce our guests for this unisex salmon battle. It's their third time to come in here as a pair. First, we've got actor Masumi Okada. Thanks for joining us. Nice to be here. You know about unisex salmon? Someone sent one to me, and I was told of its uniqueness after I finished it. <laughs> <laughs> it's too bad. But I didn't really think it tasted all that different. You got it as a gift? 
Yes, that's right. Well, today another freebie. <laughs> and actress Kuniko Asagi. Hi, it's my pleasure to be here. You've tried it too? Well, unlike Okada-san, I don't have any acquaintances that would send me this kind of expensive item, so <laughs> this is my first time to taste it. But this is the first time for the Iron Chef too, right? That's what he said. So I guess it is rare. Well, I don't feel so bad then saying that I've never had it before. Nor should you. I've never had it either. I mean, I don't feel so bad. All right, well, thanks for coming in, okay? <laughs> yes, yes. And, of course, our commentator, Dr. Yukio Hattori. Always a pleasure. So how different does it taste from a regular salmon? Well, this is said to be really tender. It almost melts in your mouth. Mm, Just like good. the best part of tuna, really. Okay, and now Iron Chef's side, he's already got one filleted, and yes, the fat content seems to be very high, very good quality there. Getting a close-up of the flesh of the unisex salmon. Fukuzan? Go ahead, Ota. Yeah, since the Iron Chef has never used this salmon before, he says his tactics today will be first to try it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and a small piece being fried quickly so Morimoto can check out the taste. Yeah, this will be for his personal taste test that he was right. talking about. Just a small piece of a big fish. Fukuizan? Yes. Yeah, the challenger has put some ingredients into a pot over here. Let's see if we can get a shot of it. This one here. Uh, this pot contains salmon heads, the meat around the bones, chopped crab, and broth. Mm. Okay, now if we can look at the Iron Chef here, he's wrapping up the head of the salmon also. Hmm. And so he's obviously got a game plan, but I'm really not sure what it is that he's doing. Heads right up call, Doc. Real salmon head to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, son, you're really funny today. But the head, you know, what do you do when you get it home? I don't know. Okay, now I think he's going to use some stronger flames ah, here. They're going in right now. Oh, they're in, yeah. Okay, he wants to keep the shape in the oven. That's what he's up there. Yeah, the or not the oven, cooker. sorry. Right, yeah, oh, pressure, pressure cooker. cooker yeah. Sure, right, yeah. now the pressure cooker. Okay, he wants to... Interesting approach right here. Yeah, he wants it to maintain its shape. So we that's haven't why he's seen doing that it. before. Fukuizan? Yes. Yeah, we've heard that the Iron Chef has started up his rice cooker. The Iron Chef? That's right. All right. Iron Chef Morimoto employing the rice cooker. And Fukuizan? Yes. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. Now that he's uh, had a chance to taste this special salmon, he made the comment that first he figured it wouldn't be any different than normal salmon, but the meat is really fine. He says, wow, the flavor, the aroma, this is wonderful stuff. All right, passes his taste test. His first time to use it. And there oh, it is. Rice. On the challenger side. Oh, I see a pot over there. Yeah, okay. That's oh, yeah, it. an old-fashioned iron pot wow. that's used for boiling He'll the rice. He'll use that to prepare his rice. Yeah, he's doing things by the book here. Fukuisan? Yes. Yeah, I've been talking with the challenger's boss, Tadamichi Ota, and speaking about uh, Chef Morimoto's style, he says he has the title of the Iron Chef Japanese, but his stuff is not even close to traditional Japanese cuisine. Fuji's going to show him how Japanese cuisine should be. Well, Ooh. it's no secret they're not enamored <laughs> by Morimoto's approach <laughs> to Japanese cuisine. Now, what is this? Oh. Uh, abalone shell? Yeah, he's using huh? the shell. Rocking up the meat, yes. Yeah, I asked the challenger why he's using an abalone shell to do what we are seeing here, and he told me that it is an old technique from about 300 years ago. If you use a knife, wow. the smell of the iron will actually damage the aroma of the salmon. He says this is the best way to make what he's trying to make. He's really going by the old book. Yeah, this seems pretty efficient, though. One of the most knowledgeable in the Ota group. Okay, I wonder what he intends to do with this, though. Is he going to put this into the fridge? Kuzan? He's going to chill it with dry ice. Dry ice? That's right. Oh, okay, so it's a uh, ruebe. Frozen oh, sashimi. Okay. Uh -huh. And Fukuizan? Yes. More on today's special salmon. The challenger says it's top notch. It doesn't have the salmon roe, the salmon eggs, and that's a key. But he says, I am thinking about different approaches to preparing it. Fuji talking confidently there. Okay, but you know, the challenger has salmon roe and soft roe. Yeah, he had them before. I think he brought them in. By himself? Yes. What, these here? Yes. Uh -huh. There it is. Okay, so he's planning to combine them with some of his dishes then. He brought them by himself? <laughs> I think what he did is he picked it up from the ingredients that you find here in the kitchen stadium. Uh -huh. So he's going to use both of them? I think so, yeah. Okay. All right. Fukuisan? Yes. Yeah, I mentioned to the Iron Chef Tadamichi Ota's criticism of his Japanese dishes, and Morimoto said, well, opinions vary. I think Japanese food is developing, evolving day by day. He says, I really believe that I'm on the right track. All right, Masahara Morimoto, every fiber of his being tells the Iron Chef Japanese he's a liberating influence on Japanese cuisine. And Fukuizan? Yes. Yeah, in this bowl, the Iron Chef has combined Sendai miso, cabbage, scallions mixed together, and he's using that as a stuffing for the salmon. Hmm. Ah, I so see. Morimoto's okay. going to use one whole fish for this dish. Yes, it is. Oh. Oh. Masahara Morimoto, every fiber of his being, tells the Iron Chef Japanese he's a liberating influence on Japanese cuisine. And Fukuizan? Yes. In this bowl, the Iron Chef has combined Sendai miso, cabbage, and scallions mixed together, and he's using that as a stuffing for the salmon. I see. So Morimoto's going to use one whole fish for this dish. Just as it is. Hmm. Uh -huh. 
Uh, oh, something's going into the rice pot. This on the challenger side. Okay, what was that? What is it? Oh, scallops, okay. And some... Oh, he's boiling them. And some salmon right there, and it looks like the salmon's been cooked a bit already. The wooden lid goes on. Okay, now I noticed a challenger using his hands to actually strip the scallops into pieces. Wow. Mm. So I think this means he's trying to give priority to the texture of the fish. Okay. Or of the scallops. Uh -huh. This guy, he knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He knows how, uh, how to make a delicious item here. This is looking really good. All right. Okay, Go ahead. Yeah, talking more about the ingredients that the Iron Chef is stuffing into his salmon here, uh, I found out that he's not only using miso and scallions, etc., but he's also stuffing more salmon meat into what? the salmon. <laughs> he said he's doing this because he wants to condense the taste and aroma of the fish, so in other words, basically he's enhancing the salmon's flavor with more salmon, and as you can see, he's sewing it up tight so that that wow. flavor cannot escape. Salmon on salmon in the belly. <laughs> That's right. And the stitching job in progress, trying to sew the fish shut, and most likely into the oven after this. Okay, if we can get a shot of the challenger here, he's okay. got the soft row now. Wow, it looks oh. like this? Oh, delectable oh. Yeah. looking right there. Yeah, he boiled these in soy sauce. Oh. The color looks so appetizing. Yeah, yeah, and it probably has a subtle oh, sweetness to stop. it. I can't wait. <laughs> it's so pretty. <laughs> and he could be chopping this up into small pieces and sprinkling uh, it on the rice. First time for me. <laughs> oh, wow. on? Yes. Yeah, I asked Challenger Fuji why he's using salmon roe and soft roe, neither of which belong to this unisex salmon. Mm -hmm. And he told me it's just to complete some of the dishes and to show that salmon roe is better than cod roe or blowfish. All right, this man is deep, Challenger Fuji, and he's starting to break a sweat right now. Back to the iron ship. What? The a blow dryer <laughs> over there. What is he doing? He's he's rubbing the body. What? He's trying to give it a hairstyle or something? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's just trying to dry it off. Apparently. Just dry it? Yeah, trying to maybe accentuate the saltiness of it. And right there, some salt being sprinkled over it. Go ahead. Yeah, the reason that the Iron Chef was using a blow dryer on the salmon was that he wanted to dry the skin off before putting it into the oven. He says that it gives it a really crispy finish after grilling. All right, so the crispiness of the skin, key to this one. Maybe Morimoto can open up a salon for salmon someday. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'm just so amazed to so see a blow dryer used in this kitchen stadium. <laughs> Anything goes with this man. You never know what's coming next. Well, it's a good idea. Squeeze on. Yes. <laughs> Some people don't think it's such a good idea. Tadamichi <laughs> Oto in the Royal Box just frowned watching Morimoto using a blow dryer on the salmon. He said he's just trying to show off. Ooh. Wow. The use of the blow dryers poured a little more gasoline on the fire between these two camps. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Morimoto just took that remark in stride. Oh, what's in the bowl? Great. Squeeze yeah. on. Yes. Yeah, in this bowl, the challenger has whipped up salmon filled fresh cream, salt and pepper, yam potatoes, regular potatoes, and corn all blended together. Mm, all right. And now halfway through, Fuji's supporters starting to give him a rousing cheer. Oh. A lot of hand <laughs> clapping, a lot of noise, a whole lot of love here for their man. Wow. <laughs> Battling on behalf of the Ota faction, I'm sure the Iron Chef's never seen nor heard any fan support like this for an opponent before here in Kitchen Stadium. And now challenger side, Fuji with the mixture. Yeah, he's making meatballs, I believe. Check it out right there. Unisex salmon meatballs from the fish that straddles the gender divide. Yeah, for a stew, maybe. Fukuisan? Yes, go ahead. Yeah, I asked Fuji why he's using an old-fashioned rice cooking pot instead of an electric rice cooker, and he grimaced, saying, electric? You can't make the best rice with that. What? You say the Iron Chef is going electric? <laughs> Boy, every chance to take a swipe, they're doing it. Second half of the battle, Iron Chef's side and a veggie being wrapped by salmon, is I believe, right there. Is it celery or something it's else? Celery. Yeah, it is celery. Celery stalks there with the, the leaves of the celery. Okay, yeah. and a salmon wraparound of the so celery. You can just eat it in one bite. <laughs> okay, and I guess this will be an hors d'oeuvre to... Uh, yeah, that would be my guess. All right. And right now, Ota's up in the royal box. Ota? Yes. Can you get some comments up there? You bet. Okay, I'm here speaking with Chef Kondagawa. Yes. And Kondagawa-san. Yes. We've been told that you've passed your territory yes. onto Ota-san's yes. faction to make a nationwide movement. Yes. What's your purpose in doing that? Ah, uh, you know, these days, traditional Japanese cuisine is really an endangered species. Uh, we want to preserve the true, real Japanese cooking. And I'm asking this man, Tada Michiota, to be the driving force behind this movement. And that's why I'm depending on him. So in your view, the Iron Chef is off the traditional path a little yeah, bit? Yeah, a little off. Yeah, I'm not criticizing all of what he does, but as a Japanese chef, he should be committed to perfecting traditional cuisine. And that's exactly why we've got our Fuji up there. How about some words of encouragement? Fuji! Go for it! 
<laughs> he seemed to snap to at that and see the perspiration rolling down his face. Oh, Kanagawa wants tradition to be preserved and he's handed over the leadership reins to Ota and his faction, their group, sort of like a political movement, a crusade, if you will, to save traditional Japanese cuisine. For them, if Fuji can win, it would be a big first step for validating their viewpoint. All right, Fuji with the salmon filet, matsutake mushrooms on top right there. Fukuzan? Yes. Yeah, the challenger had this salmon filet dipped into sake, uh, sweet sake, regular sake, soy sauce, and citrus juice. He has now taken that same filet and put garlic sprouts and matsutake mushrooms on All top. All right, garlic sprouts mm. also. Okay, he's got soft roe as well, I saw. That's the boiled soft roe? Now yeah, the Iron so. Chef unwrapping the salmon heads that were in the pressure cooker earlier. Oh, I'm getting dizzy trying to pay attention to everything at the same time. <laughs> You're not the only one. <laughs> yes. When Iron Chef Morimoto heard Kandagawa's comments that he is off the track of the royal road of traditional Japanese cuisine, he said, being on or off is not my concern. The only thing I care about is the taste. Whether it's good or not, that's the bottom line. Right on. Mm. I mean, Kandagawa admits that too. Taste is what counts, he's always saying. Okay, now the challenger is wrapping something here, I noticed. What is this? Leaves? It looks like grape leaves. Oh, grape leaves. Maybe it's going to add aroma? Mm, yeah. And taste, perhaps. Perhaps, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go. Yeah, what the challenger is wrapping here in aluminum foil is the salmon meat matsutake mushroom soft roe and garlic sprouts, which we saw him preparing before. Wow. Okay. And he has sandwiched those in, uh, those ingredients together and has wrapped them with grape leaves before covering them with the foil. Okay, grape leaves, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you picked that up, Doc. Matsutake and garlic sprouts together? Yeah, both of them. Won't they contradict each other? Do they match? Hmm. Yes, Asagi-san, a rather unusual pairing there. Well, if you think it's going to be a strong flavor, you're not going to be too far Now wrong. the Iron yeah. Chef here, ooh. This okay, now this is the item he had in the pressure cooker, so he's going to mm -hmm. add more flavor to that. Talk about thick flavor. Yeah, look at that. Fukuzan, go. Here the Iron Chef has salmon, soy sauce, sweet sake, sugar broth, and salmon heads back to you. All right, got it there. Ooh, hey. The frozen sashimi coming ooh, out. Coming oh, out. yeah, look at that, the frozen sashimi. Oh, the yes. surface is all Looks crusty. very good, too. Now, it could be a dessert. Like a sorbet. A, 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 a salmon I'm sorbet? I'm okay. kidding. <laughs> All right. And 15 minutes to go, the final 15, and the battle cry is sounded again for Challenger Fuji. They're trying to keep him fired up all the way through to the end of this one. Put your hands together, Almond Brothers. Whole lot of clapping going on. And the Iron Chef now. The salmon's oh, the out. Yeah. From the oven. The salmon stuck with more salmon and sewed up like a turkey. Wow, the color is wonderful. Beautiful right there. Up yeah. close to that skin, yeah. very crispy. These guys crispy. look like they're scrambling, but they're in control. Oh. <laughs> you know, it's really impressive. Have not seen any missteps oh, hey. in execution look so that. far. <sighs> Deep frying. Oh, that's the one he was preparing before. Yeah, he's frying yeah. the vegetable sticks. So it's not for a salad. I don't think so. You know, these guys look like they're scrambling, but they're in control. <laughs> really I've not impressive. seen any missteps in execution. Oh, hey, look. Yeah. Oh, Deep frying. That's uh -huh. the one he was preparing before. Yeah, he's frying the vegetable sticks. So it's not for a salad. I don't think so. I never thought I'd do that. Fukuzan? Yes. In this tray, the Iron Chef has mini carrots, celery with salmon slices rolled onto the ends, and breaded with flour, cornstarch, and breadcrumbs before frying in oil. Hmm, almost like a tempura style or deep fried on a skewer. Yeah. And now take a look at the challenger here. Oh, wow. What's this? It's like what's Hokai that? stew. Ah, oh, the okay. white stuff is milk then? Right, milk. Uh huh. That's what he was preparing oh, earlier. Oh, okay, now I got it. Okay, okay. Milk, that's the key to this one. Hokkai stew, a specialty of his home region. And now broccoli going into it. Fukuzan? Yes. Asparagus, too. The stew that the challenger is making here contains a soup base using crab, then a combination of salmon, white miso, kelp broth, and cream cheese. Ooh, cream oh, cheese. Cream cheese. He also added broccoli, asparagus, and small onions to complete the dish. All right, so the crabs were in there just for the broth. Wow. But the crabs are gone? <laughs> They were just for the broth? Yeah. Where are my crabs? <laughs> Pretty sure they're gone by now. <laughs> Sorry, I saw you so. Oh, it's terrible to waste crab like that. Well, I'm going to find <laughs> them and take them home. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the challenger is using grape leaves for a grilled item, saying, I know that the aroma of grape leaves match well with the flavor of salmon, which will also convey the sense of autumn. He says, my aim is to stimulate the senses. All right, grape leaves and salmon, a good match? Any of you aware of that before we came in today, Asagi-san? Nope, not me. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> okay, so this is the frozen sashimi here. Yes, right He's there. He's preparing that into a salad. Oh, On top of some items. Looks appetizing, I'd say. 
Nice. Okay, and the Iron Chef now, if we can get a shot of this, is using a moose. Yes, I see that too. It looks like Mayfoon. Right, What's he was adding this? them to the sauce. Squeeze on. Yes. About the item that the Iron Chef was now spooning into these small dishes, salmon meat was taken from the pressure cooker, it was strained, and then sour cream, Mayfoon, and lemon juice were pureed in. Okay, well, mm. Mayfoon is the kidney of the salmon, and okay. if you remember back when they were first slicing the salmon open, right. they took the kidney out. And okay. then he cooked them to, to make go. a mousse. Okay. And that's called mayfun. Yeah, it's the kidney, exactly. So we just eat it as it is. Um, he's always oh, putting lids on them. Yeah, it'll be served like a dip for something. Sort of like the crab brain sauce. Yeah, or it uh, could be for. Ah, the fried vegetables. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you that go. could be the sauce for the fried vegetables. Okay, things, yeah? a sauce. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, I think that'll be quite good. Oh, wow, well, this is all a bit much for me. <laughs> I mean, I feel lucky to experience all this, but, Doc, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> well, no problem there. Just eat it. Oh, you lucky you, your first, but maybe your last time for all this. <laughs> Thanks for the advice, yeah. <laughs> and now, Challenge Fuji putting the finishing touches on one of his salmon dishes. Okay, now he's going to shred the salmon meat and then mix it into the rice. Unisex salmon Squeeze rice, up. yes. Just a confirmation of the flavors and ingredients in the Challenger's pot here. Rice, broth, sweet yeah. sake, light soy sauce, grilled salmon, and scallops. All right, thanks, big fella. Scallops, did you hear that? Okay, those are the shredded ones. The ones he shredded by Scallop hand. Scallop pieces right in there. Yeah, he hasn't used a knife for any of the ingredients in this uh, dish. Unreal, look and look at that. Mm. Oh, the paddle for the rice broke, but he doesn't miss a beat, still <laughs> mixing it up. And now, Morimoto, the Iron Chef stewed item right there. Oh, it's a beautiful color. A salmon head stew. When's the last time you had that? Boy, I wonder what this will taste like. Mm, maybe sweet and salty together? Yeah, perfect eating with rice. Mm. Fukui-san? Yes. I asked the challenger how his salmon rice turned out, and he said, absolutely perfect. It's that rice cooking pot that does it. I wish I could serve some to the Iron Chef right now. <laughs> wow, look at this. Visually stunning, too. Oh, yeah, no mm. doubt about it. But this is not like regular salmon rice. And with the unisex salmon, the taste should be quite exotic. Yeah, that's for sure. So what are we going to call it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yes. <laughs> yeah, more about that rice dish. The salmon roe on top is also flavored with sweet sake and soy sauce. Back to you. All right, roe flavored to boot. This should be superb. Yeah, now look at the Iron Chef. He's finishing his dish here. Yep, the deep fried one there. Yeah, and using it as a dip. And what will the dip taste like? Anything similar we know of, Doc? This one here? Uh, well, it will be a little bitter. Okay, some bitterness to it. One minute to and go. one minute left now in the battle. Tradition clashing with innovation. What's he doing? The grape leaf wrapping of the challenger who's backed by the Ota faction. Fuji's trying to take down the Iron Chef and bolster the movement defending the conservative ethic of Japanese cuisine. We're drinking sake? Why not? No, Sake's maybe? okay with sure. us. And Morimoto mm. now, some finishing touches. He's faced unyielding pressure, fighting not only the challenger, but an openly go. hostile crowd today. And again, Fuji's supporters charge the atmosphere. <laughs> wow. This is wild. It's They're electric in up. here. <laughs> all the Fuji's supporters on their feet, urging on their man. He's had a steady hand today. And only time will tell now. 15 seconds left in the battle. The theme representing the middle ground of the species, but no middle ground between those who carry the flag of the traditional in Japanese cuisine and the Iron Chef. Rule breaker to the extreme. Something's got to give. Final seconds. That's it. The cooking's done. The unisex salmon battle is over. Your colleagues were supporting you all the way. Well, I did my best. But uh, tell you the truth, I needed more time, that's for sure. But the taste is great. And that means? Yeah, without a doubt. Of course, I'll win. I came here to win. You were fighting a huge crowd today. Yeah. How about that? It didn't bother me at all. Really? I didn't have time to look around. No time. It would have been the same even with uh, 2,000. 2,000? <laughs> and your dishes? I did my best. Uh-huh. Yeah, they should be tasting more than okay, I guess. Yeah. But Fuji-san says that he has definitely won this uh -huh. one. What do you uh -huh. say? I would like to win too, yeah. Challenger Fuji is offering six dishes. First, salmon fin sake. Not only the grilled fin, but also the meat around the spine is served. It signals the start of a traditional way of enjoying salmon. Second, salmon hors d'oeuvre. Sliced salmon flavored with kelp, a technique from the north. The grilled crispy fins add a nice accent to the dish. Third, horoku grill in grape leaves. He added soft roe, which is not found in unisex salmon. And his marinated garnish with a creamy touch harmonizes nicely with the grilled salmon inside the grape leaf. Salmon stew. For the broth, he used snow crab and salmon cutoffs, a luxurious approach to making broth. Potatoes and corn and other ingredients from Hokkaido create a splendid platform for enjoying the salmon meatballs. 
frozen salmon sashimi. To avoid the smell of the steel knife affecting the delicate salmon meat, he scraped off the meat with an abalone shell. More proof he strives to be perfect. And last, salmon rice, his masterpiece, condensing all the natural flavors of the salmon into the rice. A sophisticated dish that expertly controls the fat of the salmon. The salmon roe will be placed on top prior to serving. The Iron Chef counters with five dishes. First, fried salmon vegetable sticks. Salmon meat flavored with kelp wrapped around vegetables dipped in batter and then deep fried. Morimoto's creativity is already on display in the first dish. Salmon meat is also mixed into the tartare sauce. Second, salmon salad. In this dish, salt cured salmon kidney and olive oil are in the dip, making for a perfect match with the fresh vegetables. Salmon head milk stew. The texture of the soup speaks for his bold approach. The fried salmon skin on a stick is a strong accent to this experience. Potatoes and salmon dance hand in hand in the exquisite soup. Fourth, stuffed salmon grill. Cabbage, scallions, garlic shoots, and salmon flavored with sendai miso are stuffed into a whole salmon. The cheese is added to attune the matsutake mushrooms with this rare salmon meat. Last is braised salmon head. His answer to traditional Japanese cuisine. The gelatin's texture softens the hot and spicy flavor, tying the entire piece together in this dish closing his meal. The Ota Faction, true believers who see their task to defend the traditional ways of Japanese cuisine. They've brought in challenger Shuichi Fuji to take dead aim at the target of their ire, Iron Chef Japanese Masaharu Morimoto, who they say has gone too far. For this clash of philosophies, Chairman Kaga unveils the rarest of the species, unisex salmon with full body, full flavored meat. Challenger Fuji produces a most impressive array of six dishes. First time working with the ingredient, the Iron Chef does it his way with five. And now, the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today are Lower House member Shinichiro Kurimoto, actress Kuniko Asagi, actor Masumi Okada, and culinary critic Asako Kishi. First, the dishes of Challenger Fuji. Well, this salmon is very special. The very best of the salmon that come back to Hokkaido in autumn. It's good and it's very rare. I wanted to serve the guests uh, the best item prepared in the best ways. That's always my goal. When I was watching you using soft roe, adding soft roe, to me the color looked rather overpowering. But now that I've actually tried it, I can say that the flavor has spread all around and really tied everything together. The salmon's flavor is quite subtle, a very sophisticated flavor, and really the garlic sprouts are the key in this. Well, all the ingredients I used here are from Hokkaido, you see. The potatoes are the base of the dish, the taste of them too. And you see, how to say, salmon swimming freely in it. I like this. Up in Hokkaido, you know, they use milk in various types of the stews. But compared to those, this is very sophisticated. He succeeded in drawing out the quality fat of the salmon. And the salmon, with the sweetness to it, the sweetness is very wisely controlled. I wanted to avoid the smell of the knife sticking to the fish meat. As I used an abalone shell to, to scrape it off. The onions and chrysanthemum leaves? Yes, chrysanthemum and ginger and beefsteak tomato His leaves. His skills of mixing all these ingredients is really something. Usually the salmon is sliced for this, but this time since it's scraped off, when you put it in your mouth, it doesn't stick to your tongue. It sort of melts gently in my mouth. The salmon rice is finished and then served. Mmm, delicious. Oh, it's good. Look, the salmon roe is so pretty. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Here, the aroma, everything is encapsulated into the rice. This is very, very nice. I'd like to have one helping just like this, and for a second helping, I'd like to have a little bit of broth poured over it with some wasabi on top. 
<laughs> so actually, I want two bowls. <laughs> I was familiar with all the flavors. It was very, very high quality in taste. His dishes tell me he loves Hokkaido. He's proud of Hokkaido and all the food that comes from Hokkaido. And now come the dishes of Iron Chef Morimoto. I try to use every part of the salmon while changing flavors for each dish. That was my goal. The salmon was once sandwiched with kelp, so this is a Japanese dish. As you say, this is neo-Japanese, right? A celery and salmon? I didn't know. But you know, by combining them like this, they really match very well. The sauce is lovely. Just tasting the sauce alone makes me happy. I added some salt-cured kidney in the sauce, and uh, I want you to enjoy the crispy skin. I wish the fatty part was not here. With this sauce, it's just a little bit oily. It's like a Peking duck using salmon, enjoying the skin as the main item. Now the stuffed grill is cut and served by the Iron Chef. How will the panel react to the flavor? Grilling salmon inside a salmon, that was my intention for this. I stuffed the salmon with salmon. It's like being put into a time machine, and it just whisks me off to New York. I feel like I'm enjoying Japanese cuisine in New York. That's right. This is a strong statement he's making here. As I think about his dishes, he succeeded in presenting all the natural flavors of the salmon in many different styles. I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> with this in front of me, I'm not sure how the Iron Chef wants me to react to it. Oh, well, I'm trying to say that this dish is kind of confusing me. I steamed them so you can eat the softened bones too. The gelatin is so nice. The texture is perfect. This is very delicious. This is wonderful. I have to say, hey, I'm sorry about the previous one. <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> it's Tokyo style, sweet in a soy sauce base. It kicks up your appetite for rice. Probably you always have a grand concept before you prepare things. And I think you've succeeded at that, using all the parts of the salmon very well. I know there are those that criticize his dishes for being off the track of mainstream Japanese cuisine, but I feel this should be a goal of Japanese cuisine, to be enjoyed worldwide. The man with the global outlook, will he be sacked by the Hokkaido bear? The verdict is coming. Today, those who adhere to the time-tested ways of Japanese cuisine filled Kitchen Stadium to back their man. Challenger Fuji, the Hokkaido bear, eager to knock down the concept of Neo-Japanese and devour the Iron Chef. With the rare salmon, his presentation was steeped in tradition, while Morimoto stuck to his guns. Who got it right? The bear or the Iron Chef? Time to know whose cuisine reigns supreme. Tezin Morimoto Masaharu. Unbelievable, the Iron Chef. Morimoto wins it. Everything was against him today, but he's come out on top, escaping the fierce attack by the bear of Hokkaido. He's declawed, and the Ota faction, they're deflated. Neo-Japanese defeats tradition, at least for today. All right, let's check the scores. Kurimoto, 19-16, the Iron Chef. Asagi, 18-17, the Challenger. Okada, 19-18, the Iron Chef. Kishi, 19-18, Iron Chef. Three to one, chalk up a huge win for Morimoto. It had to be the toughest situation he'd found himself in since his appointment as Iron Chef with 47 foes around him. The Ota faction has promised it won't stop until he's dropped, but this one's a W for Iron Chef Masaharu Morimoto. Well, the challenger may have lagged behind a little bit in presentation, but after I finished his courses, the familiarity of the tastes like home cooking made me feel comfortable. The challenger's dishes were of tastes I was familiar with, and they were very good. But Iron Chef's dishes introduced me to new tastes, 
new experiences, and so I was really very intrigued by them. It was disappointing, but I have many others ready to go. Many young ones here. We're gonna keep on challenging. We'll shoot down those Iron Chefs left and right. You watch. Yeah.